Welcome to the Potter Blog site, February 26, 2014. Be prepared to evacuate. An Albuquerque Air Force Base has put out a sole source order for 1,200 particulate radiation suits. They specified particulate. Um, let me show you the order itself. Here it says, non-ventilated protective clothing shall protect the wearer against particulate radioactive contamination. Uh, this is the order on Fizz Ops. And you can see the order went out on February 20th, 2014. That is six days after the DOE whip plant in uh, just right outside Carlsbad, New Mexico, released a plutonium cloud that uh, we calculate was 300 million becquerels in size, comprising approximately 10,000 cubic feet of uh, contaminated air, sorry, cubic meters of contaminated air. They were released during a 30 second period. There are still ongoing releases. Uh, we estimate roughly nearly 7,000 becquerels per minute, but uh, even though that's a high amount, it's being released in what we believe is a large amount of air. So it's dispersed, but it's still a very large amount. Now, people don't want to believe this stuff because of what's called normalcy bias, because they can't imagine bad things happening. If we lived within 100 miles of this plant, we'd already be out of there. Uh, obviously, Air Force and other places are preparing. There's even a, uh, an order out uh, by the CDC uh, looking for information on mechanical ventilators, uh, specifically mentioning uh, radiation releases and uh, pandemic influenza. They're wanting 5,000 ventilators per company, non-surge. We go into that in much more detail in another post. We'll have a link to that on our blog site. Uh, this, it's also called Bug Out Alert. But um, you want to over, can't under, under emphasize this or overemphasize it, whatever you want to call it. It's late at night. But this is important. It's need to have the ability to flee at a moment's notice. That means having P100 face masks at the ready, being able to hop in your car, whatever it takes, and having enough comfort supplies out available and enough gas available to get you upwind to somewhere safe. Do not expect them to let you know that it's coming. They took days, in the early days of this, they said there was no releases. We broke the news early on that there was. Finally, news media is starting nine, ten days later, starting to give the news of what's happening. But the, there is a continued risk of explosion here from uh, radiolysis, which is uh, uh, radiation breaking down uh, other chemicals, inside the plant from hazardous waste, water, all sorts of different stuff and making explosive uh, gases. If you remember Fukushima there was an initial radiation accident which was very large. They tried to save the plant so that they could probably attempt to start it up again in the future then the plant blew up giving us three meltdowns whatever else that happened there. The WIP site seems to be taking the same task. They're trying to save the facility for future use. Preventing releases and stopping further danger is not job one. This place could go again and in a much worse fashion. Be prepared.